guys, it's Kirsten from Alma Homes, and today we're on part four of our series, So You Wanna Build a Home. How do I know if I'm hiring the right builder? We have eight pieces of advice to follow when you're hiring builders. The first thing you should ask them is what's their average build timeline? Take this with a grain of salt because every single project is different, but an average is a good idea of how long it should take them in general to build a project of your size. Number two, what is their pipeline? How soon can they actually start? A lot of builders have pipelines that can be over a year out, so you wanna make sure you get in early or find someone whose timeline is compatible with yours. Number three, will they give you a ballpark or an estimate of how much they think the project is going to cost? Now take this with a huge grain of salt because if you don't have plans yet, it's really, really hard for a builder to tell you what your pricing is. Even if you do have plans without going to a full-blown bid, the contractor should be able to give you a general idea of where you should fall, but again, it's just an estimate. Number four, ask them how they handle material lead times. This is a huge one. The last few years, we have had so many issues with supply chain and products being available. It's super important that your contractor has great processes or else you might be stuck with some serious, serious delays during your project. A good contractor will be proactive and they will be ordering things early on in the process to prevent unnecessary lead times and unnecessary delays. Number five, ask them just to walk you through their process and explain what their process is like. It's very important that they actually even have a process. Some people are a little bit more fly by night, so you wanna make sure their process works with you. Number six, what systems and software do they use? This is absolutely critical because it will help them stay organized. You don't have to have fancy software, but just make sure they have a good system for documenting everything and communicating that information to all the parties involved. We utilize a cloud-based platform that is amazing and it keeps the information in everybody's hand at all times. Number seven, ask them for referrals. Yes, you can do this and absolutely you should. Ask if you can talk to past clients, ask about their experiences. We highly, highly recommend doing this because you can talk to people who have worked with them in the past and learn what their experience was like. Number eight, this is the most important one. Trust your gut. Go with somebody and hire someone that you feel in your gut you get along with. It's going to be a long relationship. It could be a year, it could be two years. Based on the size and the scope of your project, you guys are gonna work together a lot. So make sure that they get along with you and they just feel right. Drop any questions below in the comments and stay tuned for part five.